Hey guys, I'm back with another video today, and today's video will be a new, semi-new let's play of Dominations. And so, I asked for what uh, nation that you guys wanted to see. Um, the overwhelm overwhelming majority was, of course, Germans. And so, I actually haven't seen any German players on YouTube before, so I might as well start doing that too. And so, let's see. I want to show you guys that sorry because the, the overwhelming was between French and the Germans mostly because Germans had over like almost 20 French had around like almost 10 Greeks had around like six or seven British had like a couple and so are you guys ready so let's move to the Germans and so I reached the Iron Age and this is the things that you get we get a catapult garrison two gates a temple, ten walls, caravan, two caravans, two farms, roads, and caltrops. So, there's nothing really too important in this age. And so, I get some new art. I haven't actually seen this kind of art before. So, you see this. It definitely looks very new. And so, being the Germans, we have a special ability where it's 10% uh, damage boost after every any multiplayer victory. And we get a faster rally. And so, I would like to definitely see that. So first things you guys definitely need to do. Sorry guys, I'm back. My mom just said something to me real quick. But anyways, first thing you guys gotta do whenever you get to this age, upgrade the blacksmith. First thing, first thing. Four hours. Um, I'm gonna show you off the new troops that you guys get. And so vandals are actually the uh, German exclusive troops. Basically, they I think they do more damage. Um, they're not anything really too special. It's kind of similar to the Japanese, but in combination with the Germans' um, special abilities that they have, and so rallying, it kind of helps out. And so I actually don't get to have that troop yet until I have my blacksmith. And so what I want to show you guys also, so let's see. What else you should upgrade next? Definitely work on I don't think you can upgrade the barracks oh yes you can but definitely you can't do that yet so you can might as well upgrade your markets and your mills I would suggest upgrading your mills first it's gonna take two hours I would do this first so then we can get enough like maximum because you can't actually upgrade any like any resource building or any building in general without having that like maximum resource available first and so what that means is, if I don't have 150,000, right now my max is actually 21,000. And so that means I cannot actually ever upgrade for that. So definitely, blacksmith first, and then work on your market, or your mill first, so then you can upgrade your uh, barracks. And so, these are 150k, and you definitely want these to upgrade as soon as possible. And so those will be the first two things I'll be worrying about. But until then, let's show off. Uh, let me see if I can actually do a raid and so um, let me show you guys what I have I don't know if I can be really beat anyone but let's see because soldiers I decided not actually to use soldiers because their hit points are only 240 and they only do 40 damage per second okay but then we have um, the horse raider which does 42 damage per second and it has 660 hit points and also just have the bowmen just to have them as backup and so I thought it would be a better idea to try out the horse raider actually even though you only get eight of them altogether instead of having 24 soldiers and let's see if it actually works out in our favor or not so I'm gonna show off a just a normal multiplayer raid and then after that I will show off some just let's go through campaign mode and might as well show you guys the basics you know what I would think to do Okay, so this is just a normal Bronze Age. Um, there's nothing really special about the base. Might as well show you how I was attacked from. And so, the problem with these Cavalry Riders, Raiders, sorry, Cavalry Raiders, I always said Riders. Cavalry Raiders, they always target the resource buildings. So it actually might be a problem. So they need to take out all the resource buildings first. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send up my Cavalry Raiders over here take out the farms and hopefully I'm gonna have oh dang I used a rally by accident I'm gonna send my bowmen out to protect them so definitely yeah they have a lot of HP so that's a good thing but problem is they're gonna get attacked so I just want to try this out I want to see if it would actually work or not because they do they have more HP and they just do a lot of damage to the research buildings so 
I thought it might be worth doing. Let's see. If it's not gonna work out, it's just gonna have to do the soldiers and you know, soldiers and bowmen, but might as well give it a shot. It's not gonna hurt. Yeah, so they do the same damage. But yeah, actually they do they're doing decent. They're not doing like great or anything by any standards. But they're not doing terrible, so I definitely could do a lot better though. So yeah, there's nothing really special yet until we can get the um, sp specific troop types, which will be Vandals. Um, that should be the, our next troop type uh, for the Germans, and then definitely just start upgrading everything. I'm just going to give you guys my tips and strategies. We're going to just do a lot of just random raids and stuff, kind of, you know, get the rundown of this game and how you start at the beginning, because I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm also showing off my strategies and, and what I've learned. And I've learned that this is not that good of a strategy. I thought it would be decent, but you know, it wasn't the best. Let's see, what do I got left? Ah, the garrison. Let's see if you can take them on. Come on. So, this going to be one bowman. Yeah, he's not going to win. Terrible strategy, but just wanted to try it out. Definitely wanted to try it out. So I won, you know, technically won. Terrible raid, though. So don't think... I know, everyone makes mistakes. I just wanted to try it out. You know, it's it's not going to kill you to try out something. And so, I'm going to build up my troops again. We're just going to use soldiers and bowmen this time, of course. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with 25 soldiers and 10 bowmen. That's usually what I'm going to use um, until we get some more things. So, I may also just show off some more multiplayer things, just show off some tips and strategies I learned over the time of playing. So let's see what we got. Oh, Classical Age. Hmm. Ah, I pressed it by accident. Okay, I definitely lost that one. Uh, and this, uh, I'm not used to like using this uh, iPod, it's like, uh, it's messing me up. Like, cause it's not as sensitive as I thought it would be. But it's okay. It happens. You guys ever do those mistouches, like where you have a rally and you accidentally, uh, accidentally use it or anything like that? Uh, this is level five. Let's get a little bit harder. Uh, level five. I don't know that classical age is just way too hard. Okay, low eighteen, low eighteen, Iron Age. Okay, so this is even though I haven't had Iron Age troops and he's already upgraded his tower and he already has a catapult this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna first attack the catapult and the garrison so let's do that first I need to get them to attack the catapult as soon as possible I'm gonna use my uh, use my mercenary troops so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to rally them together and attack the Japanese base because it actually is acting like a tower. It's, it's taking out a lot of my troops. So, they, uh, hopefully, we, my troops can work together to defeat the towers. Because that's going to be the biggest problem right now. Uh, they're, they're dropping like flies. Okay. They're doing fine. They took out that one. As long as I have a couple more soldiers, I can take out this last tower. And that's all I'm hoping for. So, I'm going to use this rally now and take out this last tower. Because that's the, the big problematic thing. As long as I can take them out. Okay, perfect. I barely survived that. Okay. And now my archers is just going to do the rest of the work. Hopefully get the rest of the loot. Because it's... I don't know, at this low level, it's, it's pretty decent loot. I got 17 medals also, so... It's pretty good stuff, good stuff. Anyways. I didn't think I was going to be able to beat that with just Bronze Age troops, so... Hopefully with Iron Age troops, that should that should be like a piece of cake. So, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, though. I, I'm glad that making like new videos, cause I guess once you get to the higher levels, you're like, oh, I don't know what to really make anymore, you know? Or especially when there's not any new content. I hope that we can get the Industrial Age soon, because I want to show that off to you guys. Let's see, and okay, fifty percent. Uh, I don't know if I should just go for the food. I might as well. 
Cause I, I'm not gonna five star this base, as what I'm think from what I'm thinking. Might as well just get all the food at least and get the food bonus. I don't think I'll get the gold bonus though. Sorry about that. It's a little bit of lag because I'm using it over airplay. So I guess whenever my Wi-Fi is gonna mess up, hopefully, it's, uh, it's, that's why I'm thinking airplay is because I'm actually not qu I'm not super familiar with iOS devices. It kind of happens, you know. So let's see. Yeah, this is kind of boring, you know, once you have to wait for your... Since I have no soldiers, they're not... This is, it's going to go by quite slowly. So, what I'm thinking about doing is going to do one more raid. And then after that, this, that'll be the end of the video. And then next time, guys, hopefully we'll have uh, Iron Age troops. German troops. So, definitely, let's look forward to that. The end... It's not bad, not bad. Three star. Even with two, I only had archers left though, so. I think also that mercenary troop actually did help out a lot, so. Let's see. Okay, guys. Then I'm just gonna build up some more troops and I'll be back with uh, another raid. Okay, guys. So let's get back to another raid. I don't know if I can beat someone in the classical age. Probably not, but. Definitely the Iron Age is doable, you just saw, so... Okay, another Iron Age, so... This one will be a little bit easier. He actually only has one, two, no, three towers, but they're all weak, so... Um, first, gotta take out this catapult. So, I'm gonna spread out my two troops, detect the catapult, and the... Garrison. It's a little laggy. Gotta take out the catapult first, definitely. You gotta do that. I'm gonna rally them over here because all the towers are over there. So I definitely wanna try to take out the towers as soon as possible, also. Uh, losing a couple. Now uh, they're going to the exact spot. Yeah, lame. Okay, so just gotta take out these towers. My bowmen are taking care of their troops, so it should be okay. So, okay, it went, okay, I haven't rallied, so I'm probably going to use it to attack the next garrison. Because I want them just to get rid of the garrison already so it doesn't keep producing more troops. After that, I'm going to use my, whenever I have rally again, I'm going to use it to attack the tower, the last tower. Yeah, okay, definitely soldiers, a lot better. This base is actually a lot easier than the one I just fought before because the other guy had upgraded upgraded towers and so that was definitely a pain in the butt. Okay, rally, attack the tower, this should be game. Anyways guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'll be trying to do a lot of low level raids like this and kind of give you my advice and tips on what to do. So let me know what else you guys want to see also. Also for my main account, uh, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm still working on my uh, secondary account also, but um, I haven't been, I haven't had too much time to work on it, so it's, it's been a little bit, you know, lacking, so. But in the meantime, just guys, let me know what you guys want to see, and let's finish this off real quick. Got 14 medals too, so. Yeah, that's a four star. If I attack the best way to five star, guys, Anyone? I probably make. I might may even make a video about it. Easy way, easiest way to five star anybody. Guaranteed five star at least. The best way would just be attack the town center. Take out the town center first, and so that guarantees you at least two stars if you can do it right off the bat. And then from there, if you can take out the rest, then you, you definitely five star. Okay. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and and see. I'll see you guys in the next let's play.